Okay, so basically I'm just out here in my garage and I'm just going to quickly, uh, or my workshop I should say, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate um, something that I built uh, for a game. Uh, it's actually a part of a piece of costume. Um, it was a backpack put together for an Adeptus Mechanicus character in a Warhammer 40,000 LARP. Um, I'm only showing you part of what it does, I'm not actually going to show you it on me because that's difficult for me to film. But um, for the moment I've got it powered up and running already, which um, as you can see it's a fairly decorative backpack that, um, for want of a better description, WOMS red. Um, what we've actually got, the main part here, contains um, actually a couple of banks of LEDs. At the moment it's got um, two banks of ten red ultra bright LEDs. Um, and they're being controlled uh, by pulse width modulation by an Arduino which is currently living in you can just about see this box here um, there's a few other bits of control going on around that as well but I'll get into in a bit um, and the whole thing's powered by just a lithium PP3 9 volt battery down there uh, don't know exactly what the battery life's like it should be more than 6 hours um, probably more than 10 but I wouldn't like to guarantee it um, you can see it basically is sl slowly pulsing red with a pulse of white from um, actually a converted head torch mounted down in the base which is basically a another LED array of nine ultra bright white LEDs with a reflector behind them um, but one of the things that I needed to be able to do was when the character in question, who was a NPC, so he had, he had a couple of scripted bits, when he was uh, compromised by the enemy, is probably the best way of putting it, he needed to uh, show a visible change. So what I've actually got um, mounted on my belt was this other little control box down here, um, and hanging on a chain off the belt next to the battery pack was a key for the key switch on this box, which if I switch that you'll see the change that he would go through when I turned that switch and gradual fade across from red warm to green warm and that's basically what that box does um, even though it wasn't actually needed in game it was actually fairly easy for me to just make it do exactly the same sequence in reverse if I switch the key back again so it'll actually cross fade back to red um, that's basically what that box does. Um, I do have several other channels worth of, well, I have several other channels that could drive further um, banks of LEDs that are all wired in with the appropriate transistors to drive it all and all that kind of thing. Um, I just didn't have time to build anything for those. If I modify it in future, I'll almost certainly do something more with it. And because I probably won't need that same changeover again, I'll probably uh, program it so it does different things with the red and green rather than just cross-fading. Okay, so that's what that is.